Hey everybody, Jim here. I am in Akihabara right now. And I'm here for my uh, annual uh, holiday game hunting trip, which, uh, you know, some people have pointed out, you know, if it's Akihabara, it's not so much game hunting as just going and buying games. <laughs> It's like hunting for sand at the beach. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, this is sort of like a day each year where I'll come here and just sort of uh, splurge a little bit, buy a few games that uh, might be a little pricey, but just stuff I want, you know. It's uh, my present to myself, from myself, for being such a good boy this year. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a handful of game shops and pick up, I guess, one game from each shop I go to, something that looks good. Uh, but before we do that, though, we're actually over by, I think, the central exit of the station, because across the street at the Akihabara container, they're having a Kyo Kusanagi-themed pop-up shop. Uh, so they've had, like, a lot of different Neo Geo shops as of late. Uh, themed after different characters like Mai and Terry and Iori and I think some others as well. So they finally got around to Kyo. So we are going to go yes. to the Kyo Kusanagi pop-up shop across the street as soon as, well, as soon as we're allowed to cross. And just like that, through the magic of editing, we are, uh, all right. Across the street, we're gonna go to the uh, container. We're gonna go look at some Kyo Kusanagi stuff. And uh, I think I'm gonna make this kind of a, a quick trip. So uh, maybe just like a video montage of the stuff they have in here. And maybe I'll pick up a little something for myself. Uh, but this is pretty cool. They finally give uh, Kyo a little love. So here we are, Akihabara container. Kyo Kusanagi pop-up shop. Uh, very cool. Let's get inside and have a look around. So, in 1998, the King of Fighters has been Kusanagi shop at the Akihabara container. I actually ended up picking myself up a, a t-shirt, Howard Connection t-shirt. Go figure, it's a Kyo Kusanagi shop. And I pick up a Geese Howard t-shirt. Uh, anyway, very cool shop. Uh, yeah, nice to see some, some Kyo love. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go back over to the other side of the station where all the game shops are. And we're gonna hit, I don't know, maybe three or four and pick up uh, at least one game from each one we visit. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that. Let's do a little walking over on the other side of the station.
All right, so we're on the other side of the station and we are headed to uh, Super Potato. That'll be our first stop for tonight. And uh, to make things maybe easier on myself, easier on my wallet, and to save a little time, I think at each shop I go to, I'm gonna settle on a just a single console to pick up a game for. So I'm not gonna be like perusing absolutely everything in the shop. Uh, so I think for Super Potato, I I think I'd like to pick up something for the Super Famicom. They have lots of Super Famicom games, lots of box stuff, so uh, that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna go for. So anyway, here we are, Super Potato. Uh, yeah, let's go buy us a, a brand new Super Famicom game. Let's do it. Super Famicom. Ah, a thing of beauty. I got a lot to choose from too. Although there's a lot of loose stuff too. More cost effective. You get like Kiki Kai Kai. Still expensive. So like a hundred bucks for a loose card. Maybe not. I want something something boxed. Something that I can have fun playing, but will also look nice on a shelf. Something sassy, but also professional. Uh. Let's see. Or actually, hmm. Let's see, we're alphabetical here. So let's take a quick look. Actually, I no longer have a copy of Gundam Wing Endless Duel. I ended up selling my last copy. Uh, that's a maybe. I wouldn't mind having that one back in the collection. Hmm. Or maybe I'm in a shooter mood. I'm in kind of a shooter mood today. Uh, what do we got? Maybe some Parodis. Jikyo Oshaviri Parodius. Hmm. That's another maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Jeez, I wanted to like cut down on how long I'd be in here by focusing on one console. Might actually be taking longer. Hmm. We have some Sailor Moons, we have some. Oh. Go Go Akman 3. Which I still haven't played yet. So I might actually. I might actually go ahead and get two games while I'm here. Uh, now that I think about it. Okay, I'll do that. Go Go Akman 3. And Parodius. And I think that'll. I'll let Gundam go for today. And we'll get Gogo Akman 3, Osha Betty Parodius. And those will be two games I can have a lot of fun with. A good platformer, a good shooter, and uh, nice additions to the collection. Okay. That's enough of that. It's warm in here, very warm. Okay, let's buy our games and get out of here.
Okay, so I picked up my Super Famicom games from Super Potato and I'm happy with my purchases and now I've uh, come down the street a ways for our second stop of the night right next to Star Kebab Best Kebab in Akiba in my humble opinion uh, but we've come over here uh, not to go to Beep although I might go to Beep anyway but they do not like people filming in there at all um, but we're gonna go to Sudagaya retro game that's that's what they got and in here we're gonna have a look I'm gonna look specifically at their PC Engine games so we'll try to pick up like one or two PC Engine games to take home and have some fun with so let's go peruse Sudagaya ゲーム。そう、ゲームでしょ。つまり今はプレイステーションビータ。perusing the uh, PC Engine games and not really finding anything that I want on the shelf that I don't already have. It's kind of like the consequence of collecting for something for so long. It becomes harder to find uh, you know, games you want for it. There is something in the case though that I'm going to pick up. So I'm going to go get in the mi that in a minute. But I did find an Avenue 6 pad. I've actually wanted one of these for a long time. I'm going to pick up this Avenue 6 pad and go home and play some Street Fighter with it. Uh, but yeah, there's a shoot 'em up in the case. Kind of pricey, but uh, I'd like to add it to the collection. So I'm going to go grab that, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, so I'm all done in Sudagaya. I perused their PC Engine stuff, and uh, didn't really find something I really wanted on the shelf. Uh, but this was in the case, uh, terraforming for the uh, PC Engine uh, Super CD. So uh, this is a shoot 'em up that uh, has kind of a cool 3D rendered look to it. And uh, I've always thought it looked pretty good, and it's one I didn't have in the collection. And so I grabbed it, and hopefully it's pretty good. I'm going to go home and play it on my uh, Avenue 6 pad, as a matter of fact. Uh, anyway, let's uh, keep going. I uh, get on to the next uh, shop, which I'm thinking uh, I'm going to go swing by Retro Game Camp. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get our asses over there. game camp. Lots of games inside, um, but I've decided I'm going to focus uh, on second floor. I'm going to go look for a, a decent Sega Saturn game to take home with me. So uh, yeah, get inside game camp. Gets us some Saturn goodness. Lots of games. Let's go. <laughs> Sanda-san, let's go to the... I'm 
シガサタンシュー Retro game camp all done. Uh, that was another instance where I didn't really find anything I wanted for the Saturn on the shelf, uh, but I did find something good in the case, and that was Astra Superstars by Sunsoft, a uh, really colorful sort of 3D fighter that I've wanted for a long time, never played it, heard great things, and I loved uh, the video I saw of it. So anyway. Astra Superstars from Retro Game Camp. Uh, pretty cool. Something I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun with when I take it home. Uh, anyway, yeah. Cool game. Uh, but we're going to keep walking. I think last stop of the day is going to be Trader, which is actually a little further down that way. So let's go head over to Trader. Okay. So here we are at Trader. Great shop. Probably. Probably my favorite in town, as a matter of fact, just for the selection and prices. And uh, we are gonna once again head up to the second floor here, where all the retro games are. And uh, for this place, uh, they always have a lot of Dreamcast games. So I'm gonna go to their Dreamcast section, peruse that, and see if I can't find something fun to take home for my Dreamcast. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get inside. Traitor. See what we can find. Let's go. Okay, so I'm all done in Trader, and uh, kind of went against my own rules. Uh, was looking at the Dreamcast games. I uh, wanted to do some commentary while inside, but unfortunately, that's some music blaring like right next to the Dreamcast games. That would have got me a nice big fat copyright strike, uh, but directly next to the Dreamcast games. I couldn't help but notice their Saturn selection was looking pretty good. And I ended up picking up uh, Shinryu. For the Saturn, so not a Dreamcast game. Uh, Shin Ryu, uh, top down, shoot em up, always thought it looked really good, always wanted a copy of it, and today decided, you know, why not? Let's uh, pick it up, looks good, price is right, uh, for, you know, an expensive game at least. Uh, so yeah, we got Shin Ryu for the Saturn, no Dreamcast game as I intended, but uh, that's okay. Dreamcast will have another day. Anyway, yeah.
awesome Saturn shoot 'em up to go with my awesome PC engine shoot 'em up and my awesome Super Famicom shoot 'em up. What a lot of shoot 'em ups today. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna buy any more games today. I'm gonna give my wallet a rest. Uh, but I do want to go somewhere where I can get a beer. So we are gonna do that. So uh, yeah, let's go. Coming up on our last stop of the night, which is going to be a place that has become one of my new favorite places to uh, get a drink, and that is a place called Tokyo Video Gamers. And you'll know it uh, when you come to it, because it's the only bar that has arcade games outside as well as inside uh, and everything is free to play which is awesome so uh, we're gonna go inside we're gonna play some games have a drink and uh, I'll show you around a bit but this is where I sign off demask for this so thanks everybody for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, sort of random holiday game hunting slash game buying trip and, uh, well, I guess I'll just say a Merry Christmas to everyone, and Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, Happy Everything. And uh, take care of yourselves, hope you have a nice holiday, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Welcome.